So welcome to Sault Ste. Marie and the St. Mary's Falls Canal. Now, you may better know this location and this place as the Sioux Locks. So in our last video, we left you at Tequamanon Falls in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. We're still in the Upper Peninsula, or in the UP as the people up here call it. And today we drove a little further east to this little spot that's right at the U.S. and Canadian border. After lunch, we were able to go over to the locks, to the observation tower that you'll see, and we were able to watch a ship enter the locks, and it was absolutely fascinating. Now, these locks were built to allow travel between Lake Superior and Lake Huron. You'll hear a little more about that in a minute. But come along with us as we learn more about this engineering marvel. So we are here at the Sioux Locks. We had a yummy lunch with some local white fish. At least three of us had white fish. And then we went to go get our tickets to go on the boat tour. And well, I mean, I don't know if you can see. The weather is... So we were told that the three o'clock at one company and the four o'clock, or the three thirty at one company and the four o'clock at another company, both were canceled due to the weather. So we did look at the weather app. There was a thunderstorm warning at one point. There was a tornado warning. I'm not seeing it here, but hopefully we'll be able to see here at the park we'll be able to see a decent amount i don't know we'll let you know with the upper and lower gates and emptying valve closed the open filling valve allows the lock chamber to fill to the upper level the upper gates then open allowing the downbound boat to enter the lock chamber when the boat is in the lock chamber the upper and lower gates and the filling valve are closed. The emptying valve opens to allow water to flow from the lock chamber to the lower level. With the water level in the lock chamber at the lower level, the lowering gate opens and the boat leaves the lock chamber. The lock is now ready for an upbound boat to enter and be lifted, or it can be refilled to lower another downbound boat. and locks were built, rapids dropping 21 feet in less than a mile stopped all boat traffic here. Canals and locks now allow boats to go around the rapids and travel between Lake Superior and Lake Huron. Locks have been in use around the world for thousands of years and use gravity to raise or lower boats between two elevations. Although there have been dramatic improvements in machinery, locks still use gravity, not pumps, to move millions of gallons of water to help boats bypass the rapids. Do the fish lock through too? Although they may pass through with the boat, most fish prefer the natural rapids north of the locks with its constantly flowing water and avoid the smooth concrete of the lock canals. These rapids form an important habitat for several fish species. The St. Mary's River has only two large gravel spawning areas left, here and another near Sugar Island. Native fish like sturgeon, as well as several types of salmon depend on this rocky stretch of water with its strong current for their survival. A dam with movable gates spans the upper end of the rapids, regular, regulating the flow from Lake Superior into the lower lakes. A treaty between the U.S. and Canada governs the amount of water allowed through and crews 
and crews adjust these gates as needed each month. In the past, raising and lowering the gates created a rush of water flushing fish eggs and fry from the riverbed or left fish stranded when water quickly disappeared. Through an engineering with nature project, the, the automation of these gates allows for small changes in gate positions over several, hour, several hours or even days to reduce the impact on fish in their habitat. Okay, from Sault Ste. Marie, we left and made our way down to St. Ignace, which is a little city right at the very bottom of the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. So it's about as far south as you can go before you cross into the mainland. Um, St. Ignace is a neat little city with a cool view of Mackinac Island. All right, good morning. Awesome sunrise this morning. I decided what better time to come to the public library than when the sun's rising. They have a great view from the public library here. And uh, so I just want to show you kind of how we're set up here. There's the truck. Uh, nobody else is here. So I thought I'd come hang out. So here's the public library. Right now it's about 745. Very nice library. Uh, they open at 10. So I guess I'll just have to wait because you know how much I love the public library. So as you look, right here in their front window, a Wi-Fi router. Right next to that, my computer sitting in the bushes with a bunch of bees, it looks like. We'll leave them alone for now. Come back in a little bit when they've settled down. But they have a handy outlet since they I couldn't get through the window to the power outlet on the inside. They put one right there for me. Wasn't that kind. Thank you, St. Ignace Public Library.
Join us in our next video as we explore Mackinac Island, one of the neatest, most unique, and historic places that we've been so far. See you soon.